friends, my name is Victoria. Welcome to my channel. This is a 20 minute yoga practice for the Capricorn new moon. Um, if you'd like, you can grab a bolster and make sure you have a strap with you. You can either, um, if you have a yoga strap, that's great. Um, if not, you can use a hand towel or maybe a scarf or um, anything that's kind of maybe this length, maybe just like a dish towel or a kitchen towel. Capricorn is an earth sign, so we will be closer to the earth during this entire practice. Um, it's a great way to just reset and check in because now it is the new year. Make sure you are kind to yourself and patient with yourself. Make sure you listen to your body. If any distractions or sounds come in, just make sure you use that as a way to integrate yourself deeper into the practice. If you would like a personalized tarot reading and astrology reading for myself and Jerrica, my cousin, who is a co-founder of Daughters of Australia, you can head to the link below in the description and you can book a session with us. I also have a year ahead reading for 2022 where you can discover the overall theme of 2022. And we also go month by month guidance of what the powerful months are for uh, themes in your life like career and romance and love and all those things. So go ahead and check that out. So when you're ready, go ahead, roll out your mat begin. We'll begin today in a child's pose. Separate your knees as wide as the mat. Take your hips back to your heels and soften your forehead. Soften your jaw and start to float the eyes closed. Welcome any opportunity to bring in something new with every inhale and the ability to release what no longer serves you with every exhale. Observe the breath. See if you can find that moment of pause that happens after you draw the breath in and before you let the breath out. Now return to the natural flow of your breath. Then walk your upper body to the right side of the mat. Stretch the left arm out and feel the breath. Stretch and move into the left side of the waist and upper body. Try to relax your neck and head down towards the floor. Take slow, deep breaths. Switching sides, walk your upper body to the left side of the mat. Stretch your right arm out. Feel the breath and stretch the right side of the waist and the upper body. Just create space in your right side. Soften the right shoulder towards the mat. And one more full breath. Soften in. On your next inhale, come into a tabletop position. You can support the knees by placing a blanket under them. Come into a neutral spine and pelvis. Then exhale, look to your right hip so that your spine is in a C shape. Inhale to center. 
Exhale, look to your left hip. Inhale, move through center. Exhale, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. One more time on each side. Now just move your body in any way that you like, either in cat cows, circular motion of the hips, maybe bringing the hips down to the mat, or moving your neck. Just listen to your instincts here. When you're ready, come back to stillness. Keep your hips stacked on your knees. Then extend the arms forward. Let your chest and head fall towards the earth for puppy dog pose. Draw the breath in. Exhale to get all the air out. Press back to tabletop and bring your hips to the mat. Swing your legs out in front of you to come to seated. Separate your legs until you feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings and slightly bend your knees, flexing the feet towards your face. Exhale as you fold forward, placing your hands on the floor for a wide-legged forward fold. Option to hold your feet, shins, or press your hands into the floor underneath your shoulders. Inhale, draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, press the heels of your feet into the mat. Engage all the muscles of your legs and firm your outer hips. As you stay here, lengthen the breath. Slowly come back up. Twist towards your right leg, bending in your front knee if your hamstrings are tight, and place a rolled up blanket underneath if you'd like. Anchor down through both hips, lift the chest and sternum, get tall first. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Make sure not to collapse your lower abs in and keep the energy and stability on the underside of your waist. With every inhale, find more length in the spine. With every exhale, draw your abs in to deepen the fold. Breathe into your belly and spend a few breaths here.
slowly come back up, switching sides, twisting towards your left leg. Again, you can bend in your front knee and place a rolled up blanket underneath, anchoring down through both hips. Fold over your left leg, facing your sternum towards your shin. Take a deep breath in, find length, and exhale, full deep. With control, come back up. Then bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Knees pointing towards the ceiling. Place the hands on your mat behind you. Fingers are pointing towards your feet. Tuck your chin to your chest and inhale. Lift your hips up for a reverse tabletop. Fill up the breath here. And exhale, you can drop the head back if you feel comfortable. Lift the pelvis as high or higher than your knee level, making sure your knees are right over your ankles, shoulders over wrists. Engage the lower abs. Exhale, release your hips down to the earth. Come to sit in Dandasana or Staff Pose. Stretching the legs out completely. Bring the legs to relax while focusing just on the breathing. Breathe into all four corners of your torso. As you're ready, bring the soles of your feet to meet in a diamond shape. Open your chest, even across your collarbones and upper back, and breathe into your spine to find length. Exhale, gently hinge forward at the hips, and imagine your torso is filling up like a balloon as you inhale. Exhale, draw the abs in to fold deeper and let go of any resistance. You can let your head hang here. Now gently bring your torso back upright. Then grab your strap or hand towel or scarf and roll down one vertebra at a time until you're lying on your back. Extend both legs out. Exhale, bend the right knee and draw the leg into the torso. Start to loop your strap across the arch of the foot and hold your strap in both hands. If you have any sensitivities with your foot or ankle, you don't need to use your strap. You can just grab around your calf or your upper leg. If your ankle or foot feels fine here, go ahead and use the strap and inhale, straighten the knee and push the heel towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend in the knee and inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend it towards your chest, and then do this a few more times on your own.
Then on your next inhale, straighten the leg towards the ceiling and push actively through the left heel. Exhale, draw the leg slightly closer towards your head. Start to open your right leg over to the right and press the back of your head into the earth. Make sure your hips are square and spine is long. Then when you're ready, cross your right leg over to the left side. Your right hip can stay in contact with the floor or you can lift it up for an IT band stretch. Either way, you can keep your shoulder relaxed and relax your jaw. Feel the stretch here. Pull your right leg back into your chest for a squeeze. Then extend the right leg and we will switch legs. On your next exhale, bend the left knee and draw the leg into the torso. Loop the strap across the arch of your foot. Then start to inhale, straighten the knee and push the heel towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend it towards your chest. And then keep going on your own. Make sure your bottom leg is flexed and active. Shooting energy out of your bottom heel. Now come to stillness and open your left leg over to the left side. This pose really guides us to let go and move into a state of calmness. When you're ready, cross your left leg over to the right. Pull your left leg back into your chest and bend both knees, bring them close to your chest. Inhale your whole body with breath and exhale, release your legs. Coming into Shavasana, you have an option to roll up a blanket or get a bolster and place it under your knees. Relax your legs. Drop the shoulders away from your ears and let each arm extend near each side. Arms are heavy on the floor. Coming to your natural breath. Notice any changes that you feel from the start of this practice. Start to bring movement to your fingers, then to your toes. 
start to make circles with the wrists and the ankles. Switching the direction. And on your next inhale, make it your deepest breath of the entire day. Reaching the arms overhead. And start to make your way into a fetal position, mindfully. Place your hands against the earth and start to lift your body up making your way into an easy seated pose, Sukhasana. Bring your hands to heart center, keeping your eyes closed, gently bowing your head in gratitude and acknowledgement. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, begin to flutter your eyes open and just thank you for choosing yourself. And before we end this practice, I'd like to honor the yoga teachers of India for sharing the yoga philosophy so that I can share this practice with you. Until next time, may peace be with you.